morning, I'm Rick, and this is the Grayson Permaculture Roots uh, Food Forest. And we're here to show you around and let you see what's here. This food forest started in 2016. A group of us got together and we designed the garden. We got the Church of uh, Good Shepherd's uh, permission to use this plot of land. It's a quarter acre. Uh, in 2017, we broke ground on our swales. And from there, we planted trees and the plants that are in the pollinator garden. So what you see now is a result of growth since 2017. A food forest is basically a place where the community can come and enjoy the, the peace of nature, but also it's a very utility purpose in providing food for the community once the trees get big enough to where people can come and harvest the fruit and nuts in the annual garden, they, they can also harvest the vegetables. We have apple trees, we have cherry trees, we have peach trees, we have nut trees. We also have some berry bushes. Uh, there are plum trees, pear trees, and there's that's about it as far as the trees go. We've gotten peaches and apples uh, and pears from this food forest in the past uh, five years. Uh, of course, you know, you're at the mercy of nature sometimes when it comes to your harvest. This year, we had a late freeze and the plants were blooming, the peach trees were blooming, the apple trees were blooming, but then the cold came along and froze all the blossoms. So this year, the harvest is going to be slim. This structure here is called a knot -a pond and what happens is all of the water from the church parking lot flows down into here and so we're capturing that water uh, so it doesn't flow off into the, uh, into the adjacent field. The pollinator garden here is exactly what it says. It's where the pollinators can come and uh, feed and then they can come and also pollinate the uh, trees and the berries and, and whatever. But this pollinator garden serves as a buffer on the driveway, but it also serves as, as a food source for all the pollinator, such as bees and whatever, that come here. And it gives them a place to rest and come feed. We're going to walk over here to the uh, annual garden where we grow vegetables that can be harvest, harvested. Food Independence is a food pantry in Independence, Virginia, and they distribute food boxes once a month. The past couple years, we did sweet potatoes for them so they could put them in their November box. And this year, we're growing green peppers and onions and some squash. It's called companion planting. Onions and green peppers do good together. What's interesting here, you notice that where the onions and green peppers are together, the green peppers are doing a lot better than when the peppers are just by themselves. But then when you move over here and there's no onions, it's, it's the, the leaves, the greenery isn't as lush. It strikes me as a true companion planting when the two plants are growing together and they're both thriving. This is our cross garden and we came up with this idea and most of the plants in this little cross garden have biblical references or some type of biblical uh, thought to them and uh, the church really enjoyed us coming up with that idea. So it's called the uh, cross garden. It's ornamentals. Grayson Permaculture Group is looking forward to seeing you at the Grayson Ag and Art Adventure.